we hear that we the family are very sorry for this day when we gather here to at the same time thank the Lord for all the gifts of knowing that we gave us. At the same time we are also here to celebrate this mass free God and commission the soul of monitor into God's hands. As we gather to celebrate this mass at the beginning of this celebration, let us recall the many times we have sung against God. Let us be sorry for these many times and let us ask God for pardon and strength so that we be ready enough to stand in the presence of God and pray on behalf of our sister, our wife, and also our friend. I confess to God and to God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been listening in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I have blessed Mary for loving all in your senses. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 19, reading from the first verse 
continued from the 23rd to the 27th verse. Job answered Bildad the Shuhite and said, Oh, would that my words were written down. Would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead they were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives, and that he would at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see. My own eyes, not another's, shall behold him. And from my flesh I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. For our responsorial psalm, we'll join the choir in singing Psalm 46.
that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. from John chapter 11 verse 17 to 27 when Jesus arrived in Bethany he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days now Bethany was near Jerusalem only about two miles away many of the Jews had come to Martha and to Mary to comfort them about their brother when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Beloved in Christ, the gospel of the Lord.
children, the family will want to know those who have come, okay? Go around and take them. I'm very sad. My dear friends in Christ, we gather again for yet another sinner. I don't know about you, but for me, as I keep going to the house, I see them like staircases that are climbing slowly and slowly to your home. Beloved in Christ, the moment we are home, we are all in our life. The passing of the dear one is a very painful event, no matter the circumstances, be it time, age, gender, place, or environment. The moment I have been. Death when it has to come, you come. And when it does come, we cannot say no. The summons is so strong and bold, and the response is irresistible. I read in a gospel reading, particularly this morning, you see how the sisters of love and a friend of Jesus were struggling to go to this death. We are told the Lord has conquered the grave. However, death is so strong. The grave is fierce, but the Lord promises us that he has conquered it. Death is strong, but he, he the Lord, is strong. But those of us who are in case, we will live if we know we die. John 11, 25. Because the Lord has conquered the grave, we grieve, but not as one as ones without hope. And I say this to you, Uncle and Paul. This is a very difficult time for you and your children and immediate family. When someone is so dearly loved, it's taken away. The Bible says, love is as strong as death. Jealousy is fierce as the grave. Song of Solomon 8, verse 6. The grave is fierce. It does not give us another chance to have one more conversation or give one final heart. So we are wise to keep a short record of wrongs, live at peace with everyone, and tell those we love that we love them. And dear friends, our life here on earth comes very quickly. Even if we go to be old men and women and die of natural causes, there is no age which is sufficient. A few years back, as a young priest, I was called to pray for somebody who was 90 years old. And some of our parishioners, because we have fallen good, we have fallen as often, apparently they have divided the gender between me and my parish priest. My parish priest, they will say, if you want to be the woman, I want the woman to die for the senior one. If it's the man, I want to die for the senior one. And so they came for me, even though they met my parish priest, they were assisting for that month, we then take one as I went. And then they kept reminding me, come along with the lawyer, we'll come along with the lawyer. So I knew they wanted to anoint the old man to die. And when I got to the hospital, they were complaining about the drugs, the cost of the drugs, right. that's so expensive. The man is 90. So I started my prayer in Ghana, and I prayed that Lord, if it is your word, call your man to yourself, then the man has my hand to stop from beginning. I want to be well again. And the Lord, heal me. When I say heal him, the daughter was holding my castle, my castle, my castle. 
that's a plain music order. Someone who got the beautiful, sweetly, joyful. She could be happy in her eyes, because they have her also. Have her like her own and sweet. But the Lord has his own way. And when it's time, there's nothing we can do. What we are doing now is to celebrate her life and to remind ourselves that if you surely come to ask Sunday, am I ready? Are you ready? Dear friends, Shakespeare wrote in one of his plays, as you like a paraphrase for us, it states, all of us are plays in exam. We play many parts. In time, each of us have our entrances and exits. We thus come and go. Today, Sister Monica leaves. This very day, someone else has been born. Tomorrow, it will be I or you. If we have the day, let us fail that. And do our best because tomorrow will not be ours. What do you intend to leave behind? A legacy of properties or people you have affected positively? Our second empire between siblings and the argument has been who is on somebody's world? Who is in your world? Who is on your world? Who is in your world? They were fighting. Yes, it was a very big for the Ghana's family. Then I stopped and said, stop thinking about whose world you are inside, because you two can die. Enough of the fight for property. You must fight for life and how you live. Today, we don't remember Monica and say she has this and that and that. No. We don't even know that she has, but she lived behind. A attitude of life. That's why many of us have gathered. Today is a very special day in our diocese. We didn't get priests around. Others have come far and near. Today there are a lot of funerals of the town. But for us to be at this particular funeral speaks volumes. The life we live is louder than the things we acquire. Jesus states in the gospel, he is the resurrection and the life. Meaning, the resurrection is our hope. He is the life, he is the meaning to our life. I propose, let this be your way, your truth, and your life. Let this life be well lived. Not for acquiring things, but for sharing what we have in us. Our life, one another, matters. Our life here on earth is short. Make the best out of it. May we be remembered for one kind word, for one kind deed, for one kind conversation to have with the other person. In the animal of four Christ, it's a nipper make you start. Yeah, make you start. Let me kind of say, yeah, besides that, that man also person will be with you.
Okay, you say, I told you, I saw it. Yes, I saw for the night, the Yibia, and you go, baby. I saw it, I was gay. Now, for this young for four, oh, Tima, oh, God. You be a Yibia, oh, come on, oh, yeah. Sasa, you will see your mother. For the bereaved families that the Lord may fill the vacuum created in their hearts in their lives may they be consoled by the Spirit may they have the peace in the families for consolation and peace for the bereaved family we pray to the Lord For 
all of us gathered here that we may have in mind our end. That as we journey on this earth, we will live lives that would end us in our Lord God. For this we pray to the Lord. departed sister Monica we pray for the Lord's mercies upon her that she may find rest and peace in God so also we pray for all the faithful departed may the Lord receive them in his kingdom for rest for the departed we pray to the Lord quietness of our hearts we offer to God our own intentions may our mother pray with us as we call on her hail Mary Our prayers rise before you, Lord God, and may you hear and answer us by your will. We make all our prayer through Christ our Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sons, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper.
The biography of Mrs. Modica Austin Ni Apia Ousu. Through all the changing scenes of life, in travel and in chore, the praises of my God shall still be, shall still my heart and tongue employ. Composed by George Thomas Mack. Mrs. Modica Austin was born on the 4th of May 1960 to Mr. Alessa Apia Ousu of blessed memory and Madame Francesca G. Saba. Sister, Minia Monique, as affectionately called by the family members, was the third born of the five siblings. She had a primary school education in Agnes Redro at the Catholic Primary School, attended Holy Child School Cape Coast for her secondary education, proceeded to University Pratton School Cape Coast for sixth form. She was an avid reader and nothing could distract her reading and so she got to her target. She had an offer to teach at Shredo Secondary School. Her quest to do more exploits gained her job offer at Social Security and National Insurance Trust at Aguna Shredo. She worked there for a few years and decided to further her studies at the Institute of Professional Studies. She was recruited into the seed production division of Cocoa Services division in 1990 in Accra. To add more value to her life, she gained admission to the Ghana Institute of Management and 
public relations, public administration, sorry. Afterwards, Monica was redesignated as a human resource officer and transferred to quality control company also under Cocoa Board in Accra. Acquiring professional managerial skill, Monica was promoted to managerial position in human resource, a platform she used to distinguish herself with Cocoa Board. Due to her competence and diligence, Monica was promoted to Deputy Human Resource Manager and transferred to the Bono Ahafu Region Office at Insunyani in 2015. Promoted to the rank of Human Resource Manager in 19, 2019, she was transferred to Tema, where she worked to her retirement on 4th May 2020 after 30 years of sterling service. Monica got married to Joseph Ekoesting and had been together to her demise. She had five children and mothered five others who bore her four grandchildren. She was a Catholic and a member of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Society. She was a brain pillar and a cheerful giver, one who would not miss church, but always loved to be in the presence of God to express her gratitude to God through her dancing. Monica had the slogan, happy yourself, meaning any moment of your life must be enjoyed with happiness. She was generous, sympathetic, always ready to help, counseled and empowered the needy and the vulnerable. Very sociable, frank, fair and fair, one who will not compromise to any wrongdoings. She was a disciplinarian, very resourceful, responsible and supportive wife, sister, auntie, mother to all. When she knew she was going the way of all the earth, she called her daughter and gave her wishes. He did peaceably and quietly to the call of her maker on the 26th day of May after a protracted sickness. Monica, Ikua, as we have gathered here today, your mother, siblings, family, husband, friend, church, and all sympathizers bid you farewell. Enter the door of your rest. Fare thee well, Monica. You have fought a good fight. Nyamim Pam Ukransi. Amen. So before the announcement, I, will, I will wish to invite the children to come up front for the collection that we just took, the children. So before the final commendation, shall we observe the following announcement. First, a big thank you. First to God for seeing us through a beautiful and a nice day like this. For giving us a good weather. The Biri family says, Nyame Yada, say God, we thank you. Then the next thanks goes to the priest on the sanctuary. The priest on the sanctuary. And they are in the persons of very reverend fathers, John Kofi Acha, our parish priest. Then we have very Reverend Father Robert Kofi Hagan. Yes. 
Then we also have very Reverend Father John Michael Mensah. Then we have our homilist, very Reverend Father Anthony Na Asari. Reverend Father Cosmos Ebu Saba. Then, of course, my own slim macho, Reverend Father Silas Sapati. The Berry family says a big thank you, particularly when Father Asare was giving the homily, he did mention that today is a very busy day for the Accra Archdiocese because there is ordination going on. And if they find time here, it means Monica is a very special person who needs to be celebrated. Then the same thanksgiving goes to the Masqua. Masqua, the Billy family says, they thank you, God bless you. To our mass service, to our mass service, anytime we have program like this, they will blame me, but today they have remembered so that I will acknowledge them. Mass service, thank you. Thank you, the Billy family says, thank you. Then we have St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, the Hope Star Group, Holy Family Catholic Women Association. Then we have in our midst some pastors from the Presbyterian Church also in our midst. Then all friends of our dear brother Echo, who also came all the way from New York to mourn him. The Berry family says, Thank you. You are most welcome. Feel at home, Yadamwasi, Akwenemi. Burial will take place. Burial is private. Burial is private. And after the burial, the family will sit at Cocoa Board Training School, community number six. So all members or anyone who wishes to go there, there is a bus that will take mourners and sympathizers to the school. And this bus is the Tema Secondary School bus. For the first time, I would train. Bass God willing, tomorrow, Sunday, there will be the Thanksgiving Mass here at 9 a.m. The family is inviting all of us. Then after the Thanksgiving Mass, the, whole, the family will meet again for the final funeral rite at the Cocoa Board Training School. The choir is giving the Bethel Methodist Church bath. That will convey you for the private burial. So the brief family says, Nyechumka Yadamwase. Thank you, Akpenemi. There is other program that will follow, and I'm not the one to do it. So I will now take my seat and give the mic to my senior priest. Thank you, and God richly bless all of you.
sing softly as we pray over them. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory Yeah. 
Thank you.